Africa Rise A clarion call for greater investment in Africa's rice sector. The third Africa Rise Congress, held in Yaoundé, Cameroon, 21 to the 24th of October 2013, issued a clarion call to increase investments in Africa's rice sector as well as in rice-related research, extension, and capacity building so that the continent can realize its rice promise. The Congress declaration emphasized among others the need to invest in the modernization and mechanization of Africa's rice industry and aggregation of farm output, while safeguarding land rights of smallholders and improving livelihoods. It also called for the establishment of world-class research infrastructure in Africa and the strengthening of the rice hub network to achieve greater and faster impact across the rice value chain. FAO Assistant Director General, Agriculture and Consumer Protection Department, Dr. Ren Wang said. I'm particularly impressed by the theme of this year's Congress, which is Rice Science for Food Security Through Smallholder and Agribusiness Development in Africa. More than 650 participants attended the Congress from 60 countries, including 35 African countries. They comprised rice farmers seed producers, rice processors, input dealers, agricultural machinery manufacturers, and representatives from agricultural ministries, national and international rice research and extension communities, non-governmental organizations, donors, and other development partners. Rice has become more critical to achieving food security and political stability in the continent. Despite rapid growth in rice production in Sub-Saharan Africa, 8.4% per year, during the period 2007 to 2012, the African continent continues to rely heavily on the world market to satisfy increasing consumption demand for rice, with imports reaching 12 million tons of milled rice in 2012, costing more than 5 billion US dollar. Themed Rice Science for Food Security Through Smallholder and Agribusiness Development in Africa, the Third Africa Rice Congress was organized by Africa Rice, FAO, IRAD, under the aegis of the Cameroonian government. We recognize the need to scale up our investments for modernizing the rice sector and also increase our support to research and extension, stated Cameroon Prime Minister Philemon Yang in his opening message that was delivered by Cameroon Minister of Scientific Research and Innovation Dr. Metalen Chwenti. The Congress took stock of advances in rice science and technology and provided opportunities to discuss institutional innovations policies, partnerships, and investments needed to ensure that rice sector development becomes a veritable engine for smallholder and agribusiness development and economic growth in Africa. Our vision here is that by 2020, uh, we will have reduced the reliance of African imports quite substantially. Africa Rice Deputy Director General Dr. Marco Oak Rice said, this will not only contribute to food security, but will also help reduce rice imports and create attractive employment across the rice value chain. Let us not forget that over the next 15 years, an estimated 330 million young Africans will be looking for a job. These issues were debated in a ministerial policy dialogue organized with support from FAO involving ministers from Chad, Cameroon, the Gambia. Mali and Senegal as well as in the plenary sessions, many symposia, and World Cafe. Private sector and research and development partners showcased their work in the Congress exhibition which featured a special section on small-scale rice mechanization. A Cameroon Rice Day allowed participants to visit the Erod research facilities in Yaoundé. As part of the special events of the Congress, a new book, 
Realizing Africa's Rice Promise jointly published by Africa Rice and Cabby was released. The book provides a comprehensive overview of Africa's rice sector and ongoing rice research and development activities, indicating priorities for action on how to realize the rice promise in a sustainable and equitable manner. A side event focused on a capacity building course in science journalism relating to rice R&D activities in Africa was organized with support from the CGIAR research program on rice known as Global Rice Science Partnership or GRISP. A plaque of appreciation was presented for the President of the Republic of Cameroon for the support of the Cameroon government to the rice sector. A Distinguished Service Award was presented to Dr. Papa Abdullah Isek, former Africa Rise Director General and current Minister of Agriculture and Rural Equipment of Senegal. During the closing ceremony, awards were presented for Best Papers, Posters, Most Promising Young Scientist, and Outstanding Local Entrepreneurs from Africa in Seed Production and Local Manufacturing of Small-Scale Machinery. Immediately after the closure of the Africa Rise Congress, the 2013 Global Forum of GRISP was held, where updates on global and African rice initiatives were presented, followed by sessions on bilateral support for the African Rise, coordinating investments in rice development in Africa, involving a broad range of investors interested in Africa's rice sector. Our mission Dr. Bass Bauman, GRISP director said, Such exchanges will help us find ways to leverage opportunities and make the most of our resources and knowledge to boost Africa's rice sector. For more information on the Congress, visit www.africarise.org/aorc. 2013